Hey, good evening and welcome to week one of Friday Night Lights brought to you by Isabella Bank. I'm Scott Johnson. This is Jason Fielder. And Jason, this is actually our 26th year of bringing Friday Night Lights to you here on TV5. That's amazing. And we've been there for over half of them, which is crazy when you think about that. Absolutely. The experience no in this room. Great to have football back in the fall again, isn't it? Uh, no Fans fun. in the stands? Fans in the stands, players on the field, everybody having a good time. Our uh, DTE Game of the Week here, Frankenmuth and Goodrich. Let's go ahead and get right to it here and pick it up here at Atwood Stadium, of course. And this is second quarter action. Gavin Hart here takes the snap, goes up the middle. Uh, goes to the left side, I should say. Crashes in for the touchdown. We got ourselves a 7 0 Martian lead. Ensuing kickoff, and this could be our Hurley play of the night. Sam Barger here picks it up and dances around, dances again, breaks loose, and he is long gone. 98 yards to the house. We got ourselves a 7 7 game. A little later, Hart's pass here, gonna get picked off here, and that one's gonna go for a pick six. And Frankenmuth is off and running. They win this one tonight by the final score of 28 to 14. Got to show off the community support for Millington taking on Cassidy. Look at the stands. Absolutely packed. People lining the fence. Just awesome to see. Not much activity going on in downtown during the game. Second quarter, Cassidy down seven. Fourth down near midfield. Riley Swiderski to Lance Swiderski. I'm guessing they're related. Moves the chains, but then on fourth and goal, Landon shot, stood up and stripped by Calvin Dipzinski, and he recovers the fumble. Ensuing Millington possession, Jacob Legu bounces off guys, and he is in the clear. One guy to beat. Jordan Mester grabs him near the 25, but a couple of plays later, Jordaniel Bailey on the end around gets in. It is all Millington in this one. They go on to win big 42 to 19. All right, Novell hosting Sandusky and former Novell star and MSU star Blair White helping out the Panthers staff. Pick it up second half. Novell looking to build on a 7 0 lead. Junior quarterback Tyler Peters finds Joe LaFever for the nice game to set up a first down. Then the two decide to hook up on the long ball here, and this could be our early play of the night as Jumpin' Joe calls it in. Takes off, 38 yards later, it's a touchdown, 14 nothing Panthers. Then with uh, Preston Otter in at uh, quarterback, he's gonna find Tristan Elizalt here for the first down, and that will lead to another Nivelle touchdown and a Panther victory, 21-7, the final score in that one. Vassar hosts Otisville Lakeville. First Otisville possession stalls inside the 10 on fourth down. Owen Terwilliger is sacked by Stephen Blakely and the Vulcans take over on downs. They have it third and long. Marquavis Chris looking for Blakely and he's got him. Big gain of about 40 yards into Lakeville territory. Later, the pitch goes to Lamonte Davis and look at the speed. He just outruns everybody. I mean, that is fast. That's the first touchdown of the season for Vassar. They get their first on-field victory in almost three years. They won one game by forfeit in 2019 but hadn't won since 2018. Otherwise, 26-8, the final. All right, let's go ahead and pick up Bridgeport at Chesney. Midway through the first, Bridgeport's Bryce Jones Jr. here. Finds some room and cuts towards the sideline, and that is a big 38-yard gainer. Chesney's Tyler Sager here would keep it uh, himself, and uh, he's going to pick up 19 yards on this play, but it's going to be Bridgeport's going to crash the end zone first here. Jones, uh, again, uh, to the sidelines, finding the end zone here, a 19-yard touchdown, Bridgeport up 6-0. Then after an interception, Bridgeport's Antonio Williams here would find Zylan Martin here in the corner for the end zone for the touchdown, but it's Chesney that comes back and wins this one, 20-18, the final score. How about Breckenridge visiting Hemlock, third quarter. Breckenridge with the football. Luke Saunders has guys chasing him. He throws it up. Jay. Horman, tiptoe catch, 38-yard gain. Later on the drive, Saunders again. Look at this, making moves, has the awareness to look downfield. Jake Gillis has the touchdown, and Hemlock now just up five, but they would respond on offense. Robert Naplick makes it 19-8. Then the next drive, Espen Miller. Watch the big fella. 
just run through dudes and knocking them over and getting in the end oh zone. 25-yard touchdown. Hemlock goes on to take it 33-8. to eight. Well, we already had our DTE play, our game of the week uh, here on Friday Night Lights, brought to you by Isabella Bank. Of course, the Hurley play of the night coming up, and check out all the scores on the Tropical Smoothie Cafe ticker at the bottom. But first, here's the Neville student section before we head the break. <laughs> 